Hi, this is David Lacho with SPIO. I'm just going to walk you through uh, kind of the best practices for a uh, uh, SPIO installation. So the main thing is uh, once we've kind of got our hole cut, we're going to pull the magnet off of the sensor. Uh, we're going to kind of wait, usually about a minute or two. This light will uh, turn green. Uh, once that light turns green, we're going to be good to scan the sensor in. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting, we're going to be going through the project. Uh, we've got our project uh, pulled up. We're going to be going to the settings button. And then we're going to go to the place sensors. Uh, and right now we're waiting. We've already got another sensor in the screen already. Uh, we're still waiting for it to turn green. Now that we've got the sensor turned green, we're going to scan it in uh, through the app. So it's kind of the rough location of where the sensor is. We're going to press the allow button to let the sensor scan. And then we're going to go pull off the video uh, and scan the sensor into the QR code. See how it scans in pretty easily, and we'll go save and quit. Uh, then the main thing after that is we're going to ask you to kind of wait probably five, six minutes uh, just so we can get those initial first data points in uh, before placing it in the ground. Okay. Uh, now that we've got a uh, wool cut, uh, the main thing we really want to focus on is having the correct orientation of the sensor. Uh, so, we're really going to have uh, the sensor uh, with the two dimples and the moisture sensor facing out horizontally. Uh, and really kind of the big thing is so you kind of see from here that the dimples are facing outwards. Uh, and then the big thing from here is really making sure we get good uh, soil compaction. So really kind of jam this probe into the, into the surrounding soil. And then from there, we're really going to backfill the hole around there.